Hey guys, your friend Connor here. Um, I just wanted to do a little series on lab scope diagnostics, oscilloscope, high speed waveform, stuff like that, to try to help someone out there that's really looking to learn more about it. I uh, use it quite frequently at work, so I've got a lot of saved data here on my MODIS, and I'm going to share that data with you and explain it so that you can know what to look for when using your lab scope. Um, this tool this Modus Ultra, Vantage, and uh, you know, Varus and Verdict, other snap-on models, they have a lot of really good information inside of them. You just need to know where to look for it. But this is just under, you know, the basic lab scope, uh, I guess, selection. This isn't vehicle specific. Um, what we're looking at here is uh, this is a mass airflow sensor from a Jaguar, I don't know, maybe 0304. It was a Super V8, and it came in with a lean code. And uh, another technician had checked it out at another shop and had smoke tested it and found all these leaks, you know. And it's a supercharged engine, so they found all kinds of little things that were leaking or whatever. And I don't really know the whole story on it, but. They said that the lab scope was responding, or I mean that the mass airflow sensor was responding fine on live data and stuff like that, and they never changed it, so it came to us, and the first thing I did was I hooked my lab scope up, and uh, I set it to the signal, I, I hooked up to the signal wire on the mass airflow sensor that responds to the PCM, and, you know, a normal waveform, let's see, we got a volt and a half, 1.7 volts, somewhere in there at idle. And a normal lab scope reading is just this line sort of fluctuating a little bit as it goes. And uh, that's typical. But the real issue is you see this is spiking up right here to almost 3 volts, 2.7 volts spike right there. And then as you see here, it's, it's dropping down. And then you go along a little further and dropping down here and then spiking up here. And uh, basically what's happening is it's reading false air and telling the computer, like right here, it's telling the computer it took in a ton of air. Whoop. Let me go back here. And uh, when the computer sees this surge, it's, it's reading it. You know, like it looks like, oh, no big deal, just a quick you know just a quick little spike but the computer you can see this is 500 milliseconds per screen and so the computer can read like nanoseconds nowadays and so this is a really big deal and uh, you need to understand that any of these little glitches dropouts are a big deal to the computer because it senses that voltage change and it automatically adjusts the amount of fuel and other various things like time, you know, it, it adjusts all kinds of stuff to compensate for it. So, you know, like this right here is the one way you'll be able to diagnose a bad mass airflow sensor. And uh, we're going to move on here to more data and see what else. This is the same vehicle. And uh, these are short, these are the fuel trims of the vehicle. And as you can see, it's trying to add fuel right here and right here to compensate for those spikes in voltage and uh, basically you just take this information and digest it and understand that this is a surefire way to diagnose a mass airflow sensor and be 100% sure that that's your lean issue so if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below and I'll try to answer them and help you guys out and possibly make more videos to answer your questions. Thanks for watching.